I think it's not a bad session for us. Um, obviously, always quite tricky with the red flags and um, <laughs> people spinning. I made a couple of mistakes when across the gravel uh, one time. So it's um, it's a tricky track to kind of get in a good rhythm with and um, and to put the whole lap together and so on. So I think from our side, it was good. We made some improvements with the car from FP1 to F FP2. And um, we'll try and make some, some further ones into FP3, but uh, we have to wait and see. Uh some good laps, some, a good amount of laps put in. What did you learn out there? Um, I think a lot of it is we're still learning about the car and uh, the strengths and weaknesses, areas we, we still need to improve. Um, this track's very different to Bahrain. The track surface is very different as well. So how the tyres work, how the car works is, is very different. Um, so we're still learning a lot about, about the car. We have some <laughs> test items on the car. So we're kind of comparing things between the, the different runs and different sessions. So. Um, a lot, I guess, a, a lot of different things. Um, managed to do a bit more high fuel long run stuff, which we didn't get to do in FP1 earlier. So um, the, the usual really, but just trying to get a, a good idea for, for tomorrow and Sunday. At 24 hours uh, before qualifying, what, what do you need to get ahead of the midfield tomorrow? Um, <laughs> grip, uh, power, um, I don't know, just... Uh, Putting everything together is, is something that always is important in qualifying. I um, uh, don't know what fuel loads and, and engine modes everyone's running, but um, I think uh, the car's potential, if you can put it all together, I think it's maybe not as easy as what it was in Bahrain to put it all together, and we're maybe not quite as quick outright as what we were in Bahrain. But, um, I think we're so confident. I think we can put in a good performance tomorrow if we can get it right. But uh, yeah, we've got some hard work to do tonight to kind of review everything and, and put it all together. Uh, finally, uh, what is your expectations for qualifying tomorrow? I don't know. <laughs> um, it looks very close. I think, uh, I mean, Ferrari are looking very strong. Uh, a good step stronger than what they were in Bahrain. Um, Alfa Tauri are looking very fast, so it's going to be tricky. I think um, getting into Q3 is going to be important. And uh, like we said yesterday, you know, it's quite a qualifying dependent track. So there's going to be a lot of focus on trying to, to maximize the car's performance over one lap maybe compromise a little bit more in the race. But um, yeah, we'll see you tonight what work we can do and how confident I can be going into tomorrow.